Hey, hi people. We're talking about uh, great connections. We spoke about the great connection of God introducing himself to Adam in the Garden of Eden and what a great connection that must have been. We spoke about the evil connection of Satan with uh, Adam and Eve and the beguiling that took place there and he conned them into, into believing something that was just a, a figment of his imagination. We then uh, are looking at God's way and as much as God's will was for mankind to be united to him and connect with him, tra Satan trashed that. But God had a way through the cross. And that's what we have spoken about so far. But out of God's way comes God's ways. Now let me, let me make this very clear. Yesterday we spoke about people who try to maybe try and impress God. People who would try to prove to them to God that they're okay, that they can do this thing on their own, that they can earn their salvation by being good people or doing good works or doing something like that. And they think that they, if they abide by the Ten Commandments and the laws of God, that they're going to get connected back to God. Well, we blew that little theory out the water yesterday, didn't we? Because they put the cart before the horse. You see, God's ways come after you have found God's way. If you're trying to find God by going God's ways, then you will surely be disappointed because they're just too high. They're just too high. But God's ways are still applicable. God's ways are still appropriate for us as believers. We need to understand that if you're trying to find God by using God's ways, you're never going to cut it because you're never going to do it well enough. But when you find God's way, which happens, as we said, through the cross, then God's ways become applicable to you. Now, this is where human choice comes in. You have to choose which way you're going to go. If you're going to go your own way or the way of prevailing wisdom or the way of the world around you or the way of secular psychology or pop psychology, then that's your choice. It's a choice you have to make. But God says, choose which way you would have to go. Jesus spoke that story about coming to a crossroad and, and uh, there's two roads and you can choose the one which leads to destruction. A lot of people on that road. Or you can choose the way that leads to life. Nothing's changed. Elijah did the same thing on the top of Mount Carmel, did he not? Where he said to the people, choose today whom you will serve. And uh, he said, as for me and uh, my household, Joshua said, we will choose to serve the Lord. So with Elijah and Joshua being great examples to us of what choice is all about, we need to make a choice. When you choose God's way, that choice stands before you. Are you now going to choose his ways and his directions, or are you going to go on your own? Because again, there's nothing more than a miserable Christian who is on his own way. It's a miserable place to be, trust me, I have been there. But when we choose to go God's way, doing God's ways in that order, something dynamic happens in your life. It's like that story with Elijah where he had the, the proof of God was, was a fire from heaven. Well, we may not be asking God for fire from heaven, but we are asking for him to do some kind of supernatural work in our lives, are we not? Otherwise, we're just mundane, boring Christians who name the name of Christ but never get any further than that. We want to see God work in our lives. We want to see God do supernatural stuff in our lives. I presume you want that. Well, then you need to know once you found God's way, we have to go in God's ways. God's ways are in his word. God's word is applicable in every area of our lives. So let's think about the choices that we have to make today. Think about the choices that you have to make today. And I hope and I pray that you would go using God's ways as found in his word, that that will lead you to a beautiful place called life. We have life eternal, but that doesn't mean we have life in abundance, as Jesus said. Jesus was a very, very specific about the abundant life that he wants to give us is reserved for those who choose to go through God's way into his ways.
in that order. I hope that makes sense. Think about it today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.